Hey, I'm Crystal Wax. You're listening to MSP Sound on KFAI, and I'm so excited. I have Sam Castillo here with me. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so great to chat with you and very exciting in the Sam Castillo world because you have a <laughs> new EP out, Amorexico. And yes. it's out. by the time this airs, it is out. So Yes, um, so I hope everyone's enjoying it. <laughs> October 31st. Yes, very exciting. Yes. Tell yes. tell me a little bit about this EP and kind of yeah. what happened, went into it. Yeah, so I have been writing music for maybe about five years now, and all of my bodies of work are connected. Some way lyrical or sound-wise, they're always connected. I've made four, Amorexico being the fifth. Um, so with... Amorexico coming out, it kind of is about, because um, my last album, uh, excuse me, last album was called Cowboy Killer, and it's kind of like in continuation of what happened after that kind of story. Uh, I kind of killed my cowboy boyfriend uh, and, you know, took off. So Amorexico is kind of like being in prison and, it's, uh, you know, the lyric in the bridge of the song is called Grab the Cage and Scream Yell screaming out and it's it's yeah it's a really good concept and I like it so it's about you know kind of dealing with uh, your yourself and being inside of like a prison cage mentally and really just dealing with every part of yourself like learning to love the dark side just as much as you love the light side because you you have to have that kind of harmony in life you know so that's kind of what the overall message of the album is but there's so much layers already into it with each song so this is my first uh like Spanish slash English fused EP that I have did so my other albums I've thrown some Spanish but this is my first one where I'm like really focusing more on like really strong Spanish courses and really making sure that it's catchy both in English and in Spanish and it's it's been really you know interesting creating this one but so that's what's also about like my duality of being uh Mexican and American at the same time. Okay. Wow. That's, that is many layers, especially coming off of the heels of the previous <laughs> release yeah. you had, Cowboy Killer. That's, yeah. oh, I like it. So in the vein of this, will this be a continuation? Will Amorexico be another piece of this chapter and there'll be more to come yeah. in this story? There are. I'm already working on two new bodies of work at the moment. Um, and they're set to come out later out this year, at least I hope so. If everything, you know, turns out, you know, everything in my mind is if it's written in pencil, it's all right, right? You know, you can always erase it and start over. So, you know, you never know, but that's my plan is, you know, having these, you know, in continuation. So yes, you're right. It's another just chapter in this really big story I have. And you can all, you know, you can find all the other um, albums out on Spotify and under Sam Castillo if you, you know, want to hear it. <laughs> okay, well, very cool. How many... So Cowboy Killer, and then now we have Amorexico. Is there any before Cowboy Killer part of this whole story that we need that we need to know about? Can we just jump into Amorexico? Or... You can just jump into okay. Amorexico. Um, but, you know, what makes it really cool is that, so there's, uh, before Amorexico, there's four separate bodies of work. So there's one called, uh, there is, I released Flores. Because I have other bodies of work, but they, they were kind of just kind of my own thing. But this one, I, you know, but so there's Flores and that's a really cool one. That's kind of the first one that people really liked and actually were, I was getting a lot of feedback about it and people were really enjoying the songs from that one. So Flores was kind of the beginning of that. Um, and that's kind of just, you know, like kind of, this is me, here I am. Um, and Gemini was this album after that. And I worked really hard on Gemini. And because I am a Gemini, that's my astrological sign. Um, I'm really into astrology, so I love to like, you know, play with that. So that that album is about dealing with being two-faced and kind of the same deal with Amorexico, but not as dark as Amorexico. Um, but yeah, I really like doing Gemini and that was like kind of my first like full length body of work. Then, you know, there's Cowboy Killer, what I, you know, said previously and um, yeah, Amorexico. And I said there was five, so I must be missing one. So there's the West Coast. That was one that I released back in 2018. And that was just kind of a cute little, just here's a few songs, you know, throw it and there it is. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, very, very cool. So how did COVID have an effect at all on slowing you down or 
It did very than... much so. Okay. <laughs> it was very much to me. It was very much a blessing in disguise. Um. So, uh, I after so I released Flores and Gemini pre COVID, and I was set to perform a few shows with the album Gemini and just trying to get my name out there. Then COVID kind of happened. Boom, everything stopped. So, um, I kind of sat back and you know let life life happened to me and have all this thing like all these things happen and I changed up my aesthetic I changed up a lot of things and with that I kind of took more of my aesthetic towards how I feel rather than what I want if that makes sense so that's what COVID did to my to my art okay very yeah. interesting and that's that's a great perspective of you know it's kind of a little bit of a blessing yeah and the refocusing <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um no yeah <laughs> but um yeah COVID was pretty interesting um I had a literally I had a show planned right after Gemini it was supposed to be at this place that I used to record at a long time ago and I had a few like local indie artists and they were gonna bring people and it was gonna be really cute and yeah I had like a whole setup with a set like there was like lights and uh, props and I had like flowers and like it was very woodsy and like you know it it was very, very sweet, but then, you know, COVID and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. yeah. But you have a, you have a couple of shows coming up. I do. Yeah. So I have another like virtual show coming up. So I did a virtual show um, over the summer with Cowboy Killer called Back to Paradise. And you can stream that now on YouTube. I have it linked in my link tree. But I'm doing another one of those for um, Mexico, and it's called El Fugitivo Live which El Fugitivo means the fugitive. So it's kind of, it's, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all together. Um, so I'm set to film that in a couple of weeks, more like, you know, two to four weeks, I'm set to film that. That's gonna come out in December, but then later in December, I have a New Year's Eve performance at the Southern Theater. And I'm really excited for that one because I have my dancers like really, really ready for that. And we're gonna kill it. I just like, now I feel it absolutely new year's eve dancers that's it's a really good combo yes, it's years. gonna be really exciting yes how many dancers do you have like how does this work are you choreographing who's choreographing move yeah so i do choreograph on my own but i take a lot of inspiration from a lot of other chore like choreographers there are two dancers i have and they are my house children so i am very inspired by queer culture as well and that terminology within ballroom culture, I kind of take into what I do, kind of like what Lady Gaga does, like how she has the house of Gaga. I have my house. So I have, you know, there's myself. So my two dancers are like my house children. So there's Anya and there's Ivy and they are fierce and oh, they're so good. I, they literally like, we all three have like a really good chemistry when we dance together. And when we all move, like there's just such like a light of positivity that like radiates from like all three of us whenever we're performing together. So it's really such a special experience, like whenever whenever we get to like go out and perform. Wow, that sounds amazing. Your house children, I love it. That's it's it's definitely a different world, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. That sounds awesome. We have a couple of performances. And yeah, any did you I mean the release date for Amorexico is Halloween. Correct. Spooky. Uh, yes. did, you, <laughs> did you pick that date intentionally? <laughs> I did because I was like, you know, so I love to release every album on like a specific date that's significant to me. And each of the records uh, before either, you know, it'd be about like a really bad break if I had and it'd just be like on their birthday, be petty, some, you know, some something like that. But I wanted to take a different approach with when it came to marketing my album and, you know, to get more viewers, to, you know, so I can get my story out and people can see it. So I was thinking like how, you know, what's a day that everyone, you know, you know, celebrates that wouldn't be like problematic <laughs> for me, at least like, cause like, I don't know, I feel like, I've, I don't know, but that's just my own thing. But um, Halloween, I felt like would have been a really great day because I love Halloween. That's like my, that's like my Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Halloween is definitely one of my favorite holidays as well. Yeah. As I showed it's, you my goofy headband. Yeah, it was it was so great. I loved it. Thanks. Yes. 
I didn't want to compete with your beautiful tiara, so I I put the spider webs away. It's okay. Well, I will say in the upcoming performances, I do have a new tiara, so that's okay. going to be really exciting. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, it's something to look forward to. Yes. <laughs> Oh, where can people find the album? So you can find my, uh, all of my bodies of work on Spotify at the moment, but I'm looking to upload it on SoundCloud as well, get it out on Apple Music. I'm just kind of trying to figure that part out at the moment, but right now on Spotify, you can stream all of that on Spotify. Um, my performances, you can stream those on YouTube. Okay. And those are linked in all of like, my Instagram stuff, so. Okay. Well, very cool. I'm going to have to go check that out now. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that really, that means a lot. I, I love like when like people who don't really know who I am yet and they get to experience like what I bring. Cause it's not just like, to me, it's not just singing and dancing. It's the show, putting it all together. Uh, you know, I'm a storyteller as well as I am a lyricist and a songwriter. You know, it's what I love to do. So I love to just like, you know, have new eyes on what I'm doing it's always really exciting that's cool I mean that's that's I I think this is fantastic I love that you are a storyteller and I that's why I'm like even more intrigued to come check out what's going on because it's not just hey I'm performing this and that's okay too when people do that that's all right yeah no absolutely that's like if like you're good right. you're good at what you're good at you know yeah. like you know you got to do what works for you but uh always add an extra layer I know I'm going to get a little extra layer a little bit more of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always a really good time I yeah I love to dance dancing is like my other thing that I do okay. that's like a passion like I go to dance class every week now uh I yeah I'm I love it it's, it's a lot that's fun yeah I like I like dancing too mostly in the privacy of my home but I, I still love it. Sometimes you yeah, can publicly dance too. That's all right. It's like singing in the car. It's like, it's that comforting, you know? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for stopping by right. the show. Congrats. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Thank Absolutely. you. Congrats on Amorexico. It's out. So As this airs, it's out now. Go yes, I know. It's, oof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it was, it's been really, it's been a real wild ride, just like releasing music after COVID, just wondering how people are going to like really perceive me. But I don't know. I, I'm, I feel like I'm doing like the right thing. I feel like I'm like, I figured out the formula, I feel, you know, so. Absolutely. Yeah. People are ready to dance and get up and enjoy life again, I think. Yes, regardless, but still wear a mask. Yes. <laughs> Be safe. Yes. Great. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> yes. It's like you can still dance in a mask. If I can like do physical labor in a mask, I don't care if I sweat through that mask. I will put on a different mask. Like <laughs> wear a mask. This COVID in oh, it's not over. <laughs> Great reminders. Yes. Wear, bring a backup mask. You might need it. That's an otherwise piece of yes. advice. Yes, of course. You sweat through. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, again, Dan, Sam, thank you so much. And yes, thank you. And we'll be looking forward to the New Year's Eve show yes. at Southern Theater. Yes. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Super fun. Okay.